Pivot by is a dynamic array function that allows users to create a report similar to a pivot table using a formula, with the advantage of refreshing automatically when source data changes. While some users are excited about its potential, others aren't that impressed as it does not have a slicer functionality. I am Nabil Murad. Some complex workarounds were created to allow slicers to interact with the pivot by function. But in this tutorial, I show you the simplest solution for using a slicer with a pivot by function. Great solutions don't necessarily need to be complicated. Let's switch to Excel. In this worksheet, I have a table which shows a date, a region, a manager, customer, and sales, and I named the table data. I created for this table two slicers. A slicer is a graphic interactive filter. You can create it by clicking on Insert Slicer on the Table Design tab, and you have the same command available on the Insert tab as well. For the Insert Slicer, I check the box for region, I check the box for customer, and then I hit OK. I'm going to hit Cancel because I already created the two slicers. These slicers govern the table, so if I select East from the region slicer, I'm filtering the table only for the East region, and you can see the color of the row numbers changing to blue. I can also select any customers, so if I select Costco, then my table responds and is filtered. I can select any other customers if I want, and then I'm going to release the slicer by clicking on the little funnel icon in the upper right corner for the two slicers. I want to create a report that looks like a pivot table with the region as row header and the customer as column header with a grand total column and the grand total row. But instead of creating this report by using the regular pivot table functionality, I'm going to create in another worksheet a pivot by function. To start, I'm going to copy the two slicers and paste them on another worksheet where I'll be creating by function. I pasted the two slicers and now I start in cell E3, creating by pivot by function, which has 11 arguments. So I start by typing equal pivot by. For the first mandatory field, I want the row field, which is the row header, exactly like my pivot table, and for this I want the region. Then I type the name of the table data and I select the region field. I open square bracket and I select region. I close the square bracket and then I type a comma. For the column fields, I want the customer. I close the square bracket and then I type a comma. For the values, I want the sales. Then I type the name of the table, which is data and then I open square bracket and select sales, and then I hit tab. I close the square bracket, and then I type a comma. For the function, I'm going to select a sum function. I hit tab. I type a comma for the field headers. I'll be selecting zero, and then I type a comma. Do you want a grand total for the rows? Yes, I want a row grand total. Then I type one, comma. Do you want the row headers sorted? Yes, I want to sort them in an ascending order. Then I type one, I type a comma. Do you want a grand total column? I type one, comma. For the column headers, I want them sorted alphabetically. I type one, and I'm going to close the bracket before the next argument. I'll come back and add this argument in a moment. When I hit enter, that looks exactly like my pivot table. The region is row header, the customer has column header. I see the sum of sales for each customer in each region with a grand total row and a grand total column. The regions are sorted alphabetically and the customers are sorted alphabetically as well. Now let's test the interaction with the slicer where I select, let's say, east. Nothing happens. What if I select west? Nothing happens. My pivot by function report is not affected. So I release my slicer, and now I want to test with a customer. If I select Amazon, nothing happens. If I select Costco, then I'm going to clear the filter by clicking on the funnel icon. My slicers are not interacting with my pivot by function. And now here is my solution for this problem. I go to the source data, and I want to add a new column. This is the helper column. I can even call it slicer. 
For my slicer column, I want to create a count a function, and I'm going to use a subtotal function to do that. So I type equal subtotal, and because the subtotal function is a replacement for 11 different functions, I scroll down and I select 103. That's a count a function. What would you like to count? I type a comma and I select any cell. It could be the sales, the customer, the manager. I select any one and then I close the bracket and I hit enter. So the subtotal function is returning one for each row. And before testing my slicer and see the effect on the subtotal function, I want to count how many occurrence of one I have in the slicer column. So in cell H1, I type equal count if. I select the slicer column, I type comma, and my criteria will be one. I close the bracket and then hit enter. Then it says you have 100 occurrence of one. What if I test my slicer and I select east? Look at that. I'm down to 34 and the table is filtered. What if I select Costco? Now I'm down to two. I can select any other customers and my slicers are working fine and my subtotal function is responding to my slicer. Now let's release the two slicers and I'm going to hide this helper column, the slicer column. I right click and then hit hide and now let's go to the pivot by function and check the solution. I put my function in the edit mode F2 and now I want to provide one more argument. I delete the closing bracket, I type a comma and for the filter I want to look at the slicer column in the data table. I type data and then I open square bracket and I select slicer. I close the square bracket and I ask, is it equal to one? I hit enter and now let's test. If I select east, then my pivot by function responds to my selection for the slicer. I press control and select west. What if I select a specific customer? Let it be Costco. My pivot by function is responding to any selection I make in the slicer. I'm going to clear the other slicer. I have five conditional formatting rules applied. To give this appearance, I'm going to write these conditional formatting rules in the description below the video. And I was able to create a simple solution for the slicer functionality with the pivot by function. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.